so. Pull it off time. Second, right? I'm not sure. What are no, you second. Second or third? I think it was third. I don't know. It was like yeah. second, but you passed okay. the bikes. And yeah. Well, there was one guy that was way out in front by himself. Oh, yeah, right okay. Off yeah, we missed him. <laughs> but, um, and you started pretty far back on the grid, right? Yeah. You saw your like, third, yeah, third class. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, and, you know, you did some really good, uh, created some good gaps on the straightaways, and then there was some of the, you know, little bikes, of course, were getting catchy in the turns. So, how did it feel out there, like, actually? neck and neck against these bikes for the first time. It was, it was a thrill, seriously. Yeah. Uh, you know, these guys are no joke. The guy that won the Anthony Fox is a shit of a rider. Yeah. He's amazing. He's an ex-pro AMA. And so this is the real deal. Uh -huh. And um, that was fun. I took the start a little slow just because I, I've never started on this bike. Yeah. And now I have a total of 25 laps experience ever on this bike. <laughs> so I've never started. So I didn't want to flip yeah. over backwards and look like a fool. Yeah. So we went a little bit slow, but then um, I was able to pass a few guys just going right to the first uh, into turn three. Huh? And then um, just you know, just got started in the first lap, let the tires come up, and I saw a couple guys in front of me, and um, down the back straight on the first lap, there was no chance to pass them, but uh, I reeled in a little bit. Okay. And then coming onto the front straight, I saw them, and they were having a little duff up, yeah. and I went above one and below the other, I think. And just yeah. walked right by them. Yeah, you saw, I saw Which, the great pass the front straight, yeah. like, and then you kept it through the turn one. Yeah. The turn one's a nice, easy turn. Yeah. It just, like, keeps flying through that. Yeah, it was fun. So I mean, those guys probably got a good view of yeah. you know electric power and its benefits. <laughs> so it was cool. It was fun to be an ambassador for electric power. But you know, it's neat to race in a race where you don't have to make any caveats or asterisks. It's this is a full-on race, yeah. and we either do well or we don't. It's not electric race. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love electric racing, and I'm actually a huge fan of TTXGP. Yeah. So I really hope you'll make it out there this season. But at the same time, this is a really big deal. It's like me. I raced for six years. I didn't want to race against women. I wanted to race Hard against time. racers. Gotcha. And that's what I loved about you know motorcycle racing is it's a level playing field. Exactly. You know, there's no like, oh, you have to go in the powder puff league or oh, you have to only be in the electric yeah. league. Yeah. It's yeah. great that Mira is whole, letting you do this 1. because I know AMA would probably yeah. never in a million years be like, oh yeah, we'll stick you in Pro Thunder. You know, it's like. Yeah, speaking yeah. of women racers, Melissa Paris is here today. Oh, cool. yeah. yeah, I'll have to go find yeah, her. Yeah, she's really talented. Oh, yeah. She's great. If, yeah. you, if you see her, ask her about her finger that she cut at Daytona. <laughs> she's oh, missing yeah. a fingernail from her Daytona yeah. crash. Oh, well, that's she's not a, bad. She's a really good contender. Yeah. I raced against her in World Super Sports. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so this is fun. This is, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and say I, I feel like this is the start because um, the result is just great. Oh, yeah, really we didn't want to win because then it means we picked a class where we're beating up people. It's too easy. Yeah, and then we didn't want to lose and come in last because then we look silly. So I talked with Evelyn who owns Wira, yeah. and, and we brainstormed this, and it was her idea to pick heavyweight twin superbike. Yeah. Um, and the power to weight, you know, these guys have better power to weight than me, the top guys. Um, but like guys on a SB650, if they're running this class, we, yeah. we're better than them. So we thought, okay, we're in the middle, you know. And then, and that's where I ended up the first lap in the middle. And then we battled it up and finished. I think we finished on the podium. So yeah. that's that's a result that I wasn't expecting. This is, this is better than I thought. Totally. What sort of strategy do you think you might change for the second race? And like, what's the second race you're doing today? Yeah, we're going to do race 11, which is heavyweight twins, super stock. Okay. Or so out super bike and super stock, both yeah. heavyweight twins. Yeah. Um, yeah so there's a few things I'm going to fix. Yeah. Um, you know, it, we're going 155 or something, 160 down the straight. Yeah. And I felt a little high speed instability in the front. Okay. So we're going to lift the front end up a little bit and um, probably tighten my steering damper a little bit. <laughs> Um, and I've got a switch that adjusts how much power I have when I open the throttle. Yeah. So I'm using a lot less than maximum today because yeah. it's, it's quite cold and the track temperature is bad. Yeah. So I've been um, sort of wheeling a lot and so the power power's really down. Okay. Uh, so I might make another click adjustment on that. Yeah. Uh, and then just, you know, go out and do the same thing. First lap, let people settle in and then from the second lap on, fight it out. And, you know, when I was out there on this thing, it's twitching and squirming and I'm opening the throttle and I'm not, you know, it's worth... You know, we have over 200,000 in it, yeah. and, and it's worth a lot more than that. And, but I'm not making it at all. I'm, yeah. I'm thrashing that. It's a race bike, yeah. and it's getting awesome. thrashed out there. Cool. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, one thing I noticed with electric racing is it's really more about good strategy than about just balls to wall racing. Right. So, how did you feel like in this race? Were you able to just really let it go? And I noticed you have a what he was calling like a turbo, the pass button, right? Yes. Which is really funny. Yeah. So, were you using the pass button, or were you just kind of like doing leave it for a six lap race? Did you even need that? No. So, we designed this bike to race in the electric races first of all, and they were 12 laps. Yeah. And so, to finish a 12 lap race with this much horsepower, this makes 194 horsepower. Um, it's to make that much power of all 12 laps, we had to invent a front wheel 
different generations yeah, of okay. front wheel cruises, which we did. We filed the patents on it, and we had it. We failed at the trade show, the battery show. Uh -huh. Well, for, then what happened is the Electric Series FIM and TT actually both banned us basically by lowering their weight so low that well, they, they can't lowered, race. They lowered the weight, so you got 16 kilo disadvantage. Yeah, so I feel banned, and they won't let me race. Yeah, they won't let me race until, until the bike weighs 35, 40 pounds. Which is, it's a race bike already. There's no extra 40 pounds. So, so that's fine, you know. Um, then that's why we came gas racing. I got, and then for this this first race, you know, we talked to Evelyn, and I said, how long is it? She said, there's six laps. And we said, oh, six laps you can do without curves, but just barely. So the guys calculated to do uh, 137 lap times, which I didn't do this time. It's cold. I did 141. But to do 137 is just sort of my goal. It's going to take 27 amp hours of capacity, and we have 30 on the bike. So we're talking, I can go balls to the wall, but just enough. No wheelies on the out lap, <laughs> you know? And I didn't do the warm up lap, I don't know if you noticed. We let them go. That was just to preserve the battery charge. And I'm glad they let you do that, because that was with FIM, nice. they made everyone they do the side lap, the yeah. warm up lap. And the exactly. Laguna race was kind of a joke, because the, the they did all these bracket, extra laps that yeah. were totally Fit, unnecessary. Yeah. People yeah. were losing power. That's a terrible like, idea. Yeah. I mean, you know, so you got you got to make it so the bikes can put on a good show for the public. Exactly. The public want to see electric vehicles yeah. be yeah. powerful. Yeah. And nobody wants to see them dumped down. we got enough of that. Yeah, powerful, but also lightweight. I mean, yes. Yeah. I, I have a hard enough time pushing my R1 around at 420 pounds. Yeah, like, exactly. 600 pound bike, I don't know if I can handle that. Yeah, know? this is 585. Okay. And definitely we want to, you know, reduce yeah. the weight, and we can. But it's, it's we're talking with uh, some of our suppliers, but you're talking about like taking the motor out, stopping the other yeah. yeah. tearing it apart, spending fifty thousand dollars or something like that, literally remachining all the pieces of it to, to make the grid an electric. And when I first got into this, I said I want to do a bike that can use gas lap time. And so it made me come <laughs> yeah. I was inspired by the TGXGP. Those yeah. guys did yeah. right in creating that series. And then we've gone our separate ways for various reasons. But now where I am today, it's because I've gone full circle back to I want to be as good as gas bikes. We've still got a lot of work to do today, right? So we're not going to have this thing. But, um, but now, now we have some data. We're on a line of sand, and here we are. And we want to play with the big boys. Excellent. Yeah, maybe one day you'll be up against Elaine Byers. Oh, I've been, I've raced against her many times. Nice. And I've never been here. Yeah, she's a She is. She's a great. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thank you.